Welcome to the 7 Days Love Action Challenge. Today is the fourth day of this challenge. And I want to say thank you for all those that have been joining us since we started three days ago. I'm really, really grateful. Today is quite unique because what we will be sharing and discussing together is very fundamental. I have seen this particular trait help, support, strengthen, and even build an incredible relationship. Remember, we're going to go back to the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and today I'll be reading verse 5. Do it not behave itself unseemly, seek it not her own, is not easily provoked, think it no evil. So from that scripture, I'm going to be focusing on this phrase, seek it not her own, which means love is selfless. So we'll be looking at love is selfless in today's video. Could you imagine allowing selflessness to reign, to permeate, to prevail in your relationship, in your marriage on a daily basis? It's going to blossom the relationship. It's going to strengthen the relationship. It's going to empower the relationship. And above all, there'll be intimacy, there'll be connection, there'll be joy. You'll be feeling fulfilled in your marriage. Before I just talk about more on this particular trait of love, I want to use the perfect example that I can think about of love. Jesus Christ, Son of God, was such an incredible, incredible, selfless God. I mean, he came into this world to die for us so that we cannot be condemned in eternity. He wanted us to have this opportunity to relate and be with the Heavenly Father. He volunteered to become a man. I mean, this is God. I'm talking about the Son of God. I'm talking about he that made us, a deity. He's been around. He's powerful. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And for him to decide to become a fetus and remain in a woman's womb for nine months and be born of a human. I mean, could you imagine the level of humility, like the Bible told us in Philippians chapter 2, the level of surrenderness. He made up his mind to empty himself just to put a contest around what Jesus did. Macmillan Dictionary defines selfless as someone that is being consigned of other people's needs and problems above theirs. And that's exactly what Christ did. Look at his glory. Look at his majesty, his splendor, his power, his authority. He's not limited in anything. Nothing controls him. He created us. He created the earth. He created time. From eternity to eternity, he's the same. But he decided to leave this position of power, of authority, of absolute eternal greatness. I became a man in order to save us from our sins and reconcile us back to God. So Christ was 110% concerned about your spiritual state and about your eternity. And then he gave up everything so that he can save us. So that he can bring reconciliation back to God. Now, in your marriage, in your relationship with your spouse, can you imagine if selflessness prevails? Another word for selflessness means self-sacrificing, self-denying, being liberal, generous, open-handed. And that's exactly what Christ was. He was liberal to surrender himself, to become a tiny little thing in a human female body, in a womb for nine months. 
left his glory, left everything, forgot about himself, and humbled himself. So, could you imagine selflessness of that sort being found in your marriage, in your relationship? And I want to say at this point that, humanly speaking, we are very selfish people. Do we want it's about me? It's about what I want? Okay, let's go a little bit further on this. When you were single, you decided whatever you wanted to do, where you want to go, the clothes you want to wear, what you want to eat, when to eat, when to sleep. You are literally in control of your needs and wants. So it was about you and I was in charge when you were single. And a lot of things you have to do it yourself anyway. You have to take a lot of decisions by yourself. So there was no interference. You were not interrupted in a lot of things you did as a single person. But after marriage, everything changes. It's no longer I now, it's we or us. And if you examine your marriage and relationship, because that's the essence of this challenge, to just look at what Christ did and look at you. Where do you stand? Some of the feeling of hurt and disagreement and pain and escalation of issues and trouble and someone feeling bad and stonewalling and withdrawal sometimes is rooted in selfishness. Because if you're not selfless, you're selfish. And selfish is about you. And something that baffles me in marriage, in relationship, as a marriage coach and as someone that has been involved in helping and supporting couples, one of the fundamental things I have realized, I've seen selfishness can be so strong. It can drive the other spouse crazy sometimes. Because you can see clear selfishness. Every marriage breakdown, significant number of them, significant number of marriage breakdown is due to absolute chronic selfishness. You are married, but you still want to remain single in the marriage. And everything you do, you're not, everything you do is about yourself. You're focusing on your wants and your needs. But if you want your marriage to blossom, if you want to see real results of happiness and joy and peace, start thinking about your level of selflessness in your marriage and in your relationship. One of the things that had baffled me over the years around this subject of self-sacrificing and self-denying is the fact that we want happiness we want peace in our home. We want tranquility and harmony. We want to live in an environment that is healthy to grow. But selflessness is not there. Sometimes we are selfless, but in our own terms, we don't truly see the needs and the wants of our spouses ahead of ours. It's always my right. We're living in a society, and I see this as a massive crisis in our days today. You know, it's my right, this is what I want, you know, go and get it, my will be done. If you're living like this, if it's always about you in your marriage, in your relationship, then why did you get married in the first place? You may have been married for a couple of years or newly married or whatever state you are in your relationship right now, I want you to know that selflessness can increase your happiness and your enjoyment of that relationship. Think about some challenges that you may have faced or you are facing right now with your spouse. Can you truly say that you are putting yourself in your spouse's shoe? You are leaving yourself. You are putting yourself here. And then you're moving forward to see how you can support your spouse and support your relationship to be more connected, more intimate, and even more satisfying. 
I just told you the example of Christ. It baffles me how someone on such level of authority and power could drop everything just for the sake of humans and can sacrifice so much in order to reconcile and bring us back to a heavenly father. You can make up your mind today to change and see things differently. So the challenge today is go and examine and reflect What's your level of selflessness in your marriage, in your relationship? Are you more giving? Are you more generous? Because marriage, love is about sharing. It's about giving. Don't just focus on receiving, taking, getting. It's going to be a difficult place to be. So challenge yourself. And be more responsible in seeing the needs and the wants of your spouse more seriously this time. And if you see selfishness, they admit it. You say, I'm selfish and I want to do something about it. Because if you don't admit you have a problem, then you're not even going to do anything about it to solve it. So the love action challenge is not about just watching the video or being part of this seven days challenge it's about giving yourself time to leave some bad habits or transforming your mind and growing into a more generous selfless mindset in order to build a loving and amazing relationship so i hope you take this challenge and i hope things will change for you as well my spouse couldn't join us today because she had to do other things I really miss her today and I'm hoping she's going to join us in the other videos. So if you're watching this on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, I would like you to you know, subscribe to our channel, like our page, so that you will always know when we release more videos like this. Thank you so much for listening and have an amazing Love Action Challenge Week. God bless you.